What is up everybody, it is Master Wolf here and today I got this massive package, well, not massive, but good size package and good weight package in the post and I was really curious to see what is in it and I have opened it and it turns out it is a little goodie bag or goodie box from Mad Cats and it's all stuff to do with mobile, uh, hence why it's going up on this one and I'll show you what it is. So we'll go into better detail and we'll also unbox them uh, closely in a second. To start off with, we have the Kunai headset. So this is a mobile headset. This is everything. So you, if you've got an iPad, you've got an iPhone, you've got an Android device, this is what you want. This is specially made for Apple devices, uh, but it obviously works on everything. And it is uh, their basically top range model for mobile devices, which is really cool. Um, so thank you for sending me that to start off with. And second of all is the big thing. This is the big mama. Let's throw the box over there. This here is the Mojo Micro Console. Uh, so this is basically an Android micro console. Uh, it will play Android games, it will play all the stuff that the Ouya played, it will play OnLive if you ever played OnLive. It will also uh, send its information, it will send its signals in 4K. So if you have a 4K TV, a 4K monitor, this is the bad boy you want because this is one of the first, if not the first on the market, that will actually send out full 4K signals from an Android device. So that is pretty awesome. Let's go into further detail and unbox these two things. So we'll start off with the Kunai headset. Now this headset uh, is looks like it's gonna be the nice bright baby blue color, which is pretty cool because to be honest, whenever I wear a headset, I always want it to be the kind of brightest color and to like stand out rather than it being just, you know, a boring kind of grayish color. Uh, but I believe they do it in blue, red, and orange, I wanna say, but I'm not 100% sure on that orange color. But let's open it up and see what we've got. Um, how do we, oh, there we go. You can see it here from the side. You see that there, that is the color. I mean, how awesome does that look? That looks pretty sweet. Um, and I believe you can change these plates on the side here, these little ear pieces uh, to other colors, or you can buy stuff. So you can buy ones that are um, specific to a game or specific to a uh, esports team that you support, or you could probably make your own somewhere or somehow, uh, which will be pretty awesome as well. All right, let's pop this bad boy out. So I'll give you a, a couple of specs on it if you are interested. Uh, it has two 40 millimeter speakers, uh, has inline controls for picking up phones, uh, skipping songs, playing music, uh, turning volume up and down. It has a 1.2 meter cable, uh, which I believe is reinforced, but I'll have to double check that. Um, and yeah, it is just pretty awesome looking and we'll have a look. I think it's they sit on your head rather than like around your ear. So depending on your liking, um, obviously it's gonna suit you or it might not suit you. I've always been for an around the ear guy, uh, but I actually got a I got to wear these in a, uh, a PC world and I tried them out and I was surprised how much I liked on ear. I really didn't used to like them, but now I really did like it. So let's open this up. Uh, there's a lot of funky packaging and we first of all start off with this little manual and we've got some more stickers. I've been putting these stickers everywhere. You get these with everything you buy from Mad Cats and uh, Triton. These basically come with them and you can stick them wherever you want. I always find funny places to stick them. I actually have them, wait, I have them, oh no, I have them on my other back of my case on my Samsung Note 3. Just, just full of Mad Cat stickers. So stop, read that if you want to, but I don't want to. So I'm gonna throw that away. Okay, so here we go. This is the beauty we were after. So as you can see here, ah, this is what I said. These are the other colors available. Uh, you actually get these plates and you can customize it here and now. So let me put that nice up close to you guys so you can see. So these are the other plates you get. You get a nice red color or you can get a orange color. Hold on, let me get this one out. This orange color looks quite funky as well. That looks pretty cool. And I believe you can also put that on this headset right now so you can customize it to your own color liking uh, if you obviously want to change the earpieces to other colors. So anyway, let's get this out. Nice and gentle with it now. We don't want to damage this beauty. Here we go. Let me pop that out. Is that, I think it's connected to the box. I'm not 100% I'm not sure. Everyone's packaging is different. Um, oh, okay, hold on. There's something here we have to do. Oh, we pull that open and then that opens that bit and then you can pull, there we go. And that pulls out. Oh, that's quite cool. That's kind of weird, but cool. I've never seen packaging done like that. So if you've got it, uh, don't just yank it out. This like left ear cup has uh, some kind of funky mechanism you have to do. And that is the headset. That's everything there. Uh, let's move that over. Let's put, um, 
I don't know, I didn't know if there was anything in this that we had to read. Oh no, it's just an instruction manual. So it says here what it will work on. Uh, Wii U gamepad, your 3DS, your tablets, your PS Vitas. And this will also obviously give you your sound from your PlayStation 4 or your Xbox One headset adapter. So that's pretty cool as well. I'm not sure if the mic works on it. I'll have to test it, but we'll have a look. So here we go. Let's peel off all this satisfying peely stuff. Oh God, there was only one on it, so that's not too bad. And let's have a nice up close look at this thing. So as you can see, it's got its lovely blue color and it has a kind of silver chrome shiny uh, Triton logo on there. Uh, and it follows itself all the way up here. It's got this kind of different, it's kind of a matte feel actually. You see this here, it's actually kind of a matte feel with a glossy center and obviously the Triton logo on top. It's got some spongy, uh, spongy top and spongy ears and we should put this on so you can see here it sits on your ears and it has these two cushions uh, They also fold inwards. So I have a massive head So I always automatically go for the biggest size, but they can sit like this on on your um, Kind of collarbone I guess which is really nice and it sits there nicely uh, and they're really light They're not heavy. They're not buffy and look at this look how soft this is I don't know if you can see this. Let me try and focus this nice close. Look how soft I'm hardly putting any pressure on there and it's so cozy. Uh, and it, the inside actually feels like an airy material rather than like a leather inside. So hopefully it'll be more airy. I've had headphones before that are full leather, like inside and out, and it's just been hideous to use. So um, hopefully this will do it. So let's put these on. So, wow, everything goes, my voice goes so quiet when you put in them. That gives like a really good suction. It actually fits an even bigger head than mine. So if you've got a bigger head than mine, this will fit you. So if you're looking for one that will fit you, and there you go. So it kind of sits actually around your ears. It does go just around your ears. Your ears just fit in it, which gives it a really snug, t uh, like tight, close finish. Whereas sometimes they go all the way around and it, it doesn't feel tight, but this feels tight. I don't know if I'm shouting, but it sounds to me like I am. All right, I'm gonna see if I can put some music on. Ooh. Sweet, some gold digger there from Kanye West. So uh, it's got like a, a kind of a nice bassy tone to it because that's quite a bassy song and it played the bassies, uh, the bass and lower uh, kind of notes really smooth on it. Obviously I'm gonna have the full test. This isn't really a review, this is more of an unboxing. But I'm really happy with these. This means I can now uh, game with uh, my headset on while I'm making my video. So that is absolutely sweet. Right, so here is the Mojo. Now the Mojo is a pretty big thing. It's quite a heavy box. Uh, but I believe the actual device is quite small itself. So let's pop this open and have a look. Uh, I'll read the back of the box in a second once I've got these seals off. Otherwise, I always forget about them. They've got one there. They've got one at the bottom. And I think that's it. So I'm going to give you a couple of, um, of stuff that it says on the back here. Um, it says, uh, no rebuying. Play games you've already bought without rebuying because you can link up your uh, Android device. So I can link up, uh, for example, my Note 3 back here and get all the games that I've got on there onto this device. Uh, it's got a mouse mode. It, I believe it comes with a controller. I'm going to have to double check that. Uh, but I also have a, another controller anyway. It uh, has 16 gigabytes of storage already built in. It streams movies, TVs, everything that uh, you would want. So this is basically a home media system. It's the one hub you need. It has Bluetooth smart technology. Um, and it is pretty beast. I'm seeing if there's the actual specs of the power of the device. I can't see it. Ah, okay, here we go. It's on the side here. So it is running Android 4.2.2, but I believe it will have firmware updates. It's got a NVIDIA Tegra 4 1.8 gigahertz quad core processor, I believe, a two gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of storage, Bluetooth 4.0, uh, Wi-Fi 802.11, A, B, G, and N. Uh, it's got HDMI out, it's got a 100 megabits Ethernet out, so not the crappy 50 or 60 megabits. Uh, it's got a micro SD slot, uh, it's got a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, a USB 3.0 and a USB 2.0. And it does come with the controller as well by the looks of it. Alright, so let's pop this open and see what is inside this beauty of a box. I've been so hyped about this. Um, I'm so hoping it will play Clash of Clans and stuff. If it does, which I believe it does, uh, I will obviously do a video on me playing Clash of Clans on this so you can see what it's like. So if you guys want kind of a, a better home system for playing Clash of Clans rather than on your phone, this might be your choice because you can play on PC, but it is frowned upon uh, by Supercell. So this could be your great way around it to play it on the big screen at home and using a controller, which would be pretty cool because the controller has a mouse mode where basically it kind of acts as a finger. Um, wow, they've got so many seals on this. 
Uh, is that another one there, or is that... Surely not. It looks like it... I don't know if that is, but I'm being super careful about everything, because I don't want to break anything. There's some more seals on the top here. Okay, that's got to be everything. So this opens from the side, which is cool. It needs like smoke and fog to be coming out of it at that moment. And here we go. So this is the inside of the Mojo box, if you can see that. So you're, you're presented with your controller or controller, kind of a weird name set. And here's your Mojo yourself. So the Mojo is actually quite small, as I said. Okay, so here's the Mojo. Let's take this out. So this is the controller. It's completely wireless. It's Bluetooth. Uh, everything about it is pretty awesome. I've actually used this on my PC. I use it to play Plants vs. Zombies, Gun and Warfare, uh, and other games on my PC, and also stuff like Asphalt uh, and games on my Android. So these are really good. Uh, it's got a great battery life, and there's hardly any latency. So I recommend you even getting one of these if you just don't, if you don't have a Mojo, but you want to control it for your phone. Get one of these. It also has a special clip. All right, and now we're going to the thing that everybody wants to see. This is the Mojo. So let's get a nice close look at the Mojo itself. Hold on. It's so shiny. Look at it. So it's got a plastic cover. It's obviously not like that normally. But this is the size of it. I mean, I have like, you know, kind of biggish hands and it fits in a part of my hand. So I can take this, you know, to a friend's house. Uh, when I go to my girlfriend's uni, I can just take this anywhere, hook it up and play my games. So let's take this cellophane off, which is always the most satisfying bit. Let's do this. It's orgasmic. Oh, that feels so good. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to get any of my fingerprints on it. Uh, but here we go. It's also got a nice little bit of foam here, if you like foam. So that's what it looks like. It's got a really glossy black finish, and it says, obviously, Mad Cat's Mojo in a really nice chrome kind of metal look. Uh, you can see there it's super shiny, which is really nice, but that's not going to last long. Uh, at the back here, you have your ports. So we will... Uh, is it going to focus on it for me? There we go. We're going to focus on it. So as you can see, we'll go from here. We've got a headphone jack and a power port. We've got a micro SD card slot at the bottom here. Uh, we've got a HDMI out. We've got an Ethernet port. We've got a USB 2.0 and a USB 3.0 here, which is currently being taken up by the little controller uh, stick that obviously sends out the signals. Uh, so that's, I mean, that's pretty handy and that just slots in there and you can connect your controller up. Uh, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so let's go back into the box and see what else we can find in here. Um, let's take this out. This is really well packaged. I mean, look at this inside. That's lovely and blue. You don't usually get that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't know how I... Oh, what? Look at this. It needs another one of those, like, ksh. Ready? This is another ksh moment. <laughs> awesome. All right, so let's delve into this a, a little bit further and see what else we have got. So we've got a nice little book here. Oh, oh! if you smell packaging, you'll love the smell of this packaging. Uh, a nice little white Mad Cat's box. They have gone mad with these little circular sticky things. I don't even know how I'm meant to get this one off. <laughs> I don't want to rip through any papers or, or stickers in here. Oh my God, it's so hard to peel. There we go. Okay, we've got that off. Let's have a look at what we've got inside here. Hopefully there's gonna be some more Mad Cat stickers that we can go and stick everywhere. And boom, there we go. Look at the size of this beaut. That's a big sticker. Uh, bigger than this one. You can see it's like a bigger one. So as you buy better stuff, you get better stickers as well. That's pretty cool. Uh, so let's put that down aside. Uh, Game Smart multi platform devices. So there are other things you can buy for this. You can buy stuff like the uh, keyboard. You've got these, uh, I believe these are wireless gaming headsets. Uh, yeah, they're the Freak M. Uh, they're wireless gaming headsets that you can buy for this that will connect. And there it is. There's the Strike M keyboard, which is a mini keyboard. And also the Rat M, which is a wireless mouse, which connects up to this device. So that's pretty cool. There's loads of stuff you can go out and buy if you want. We've got a quick start guide for what man needs one of them. And a warranty, what guy needs one of them as well. What else do we get? So all the packaging is cool. You can see it's got like the Mad Cats logo on the packaging. And inside here we have got, by the looks of it, a HDMI cable. Um, you know what, let's just pop it open as well and just have a look. Oh, smells so good again. Uh, so we've got a HDMI cable in here with all the Mad Cats logos and stuff. And then we've also got a USB uh, to USB. So I'm intrigued to know what that's for, but that I'm sure will come in handy. And then finally on this side, we've got two compartments left. Again, nice Mad Cats packaging. And inside here, I believe I know what this is. I think this is the clip for the controller. All right, there we go. Let's take all this off. So this here 
hold on, let me just get it all off. This here is a clip for the control R. Uh, you get you get your controller, and you also get the little slot, uh, little circle thing here. And on the back of the controller is a little uh, kind of thread for this. So this here is where it goes. I'm trying to get that into camera. There you go. That's that. And this fits on top, like so. And this bit screws that in. If you can get it in. There we go. And that is it. And now, once that's fully screwed in, you have a full clip for your controller. So you can put your phone uh, in there. You could, well, uh, pretty much it. You can put your phone in there. And as I say phones, I have the biggest phone on the market, which is the Note 3. And this, I believe, fits in it. Let's hope it does. Otherwise, there we go. Look at that. That fits in it perfectly. It doesn't even fall over. Look at that. It actually holds the Note 3, which is a colossal phone. And it fits there perfectly. So you can now game away. You know, if you turn the screen on, you can game away at it. And that is absolutely awesome. So that's what that clip is for. Um, and then we come to our last thing, which I believe will be the power supply, uh, which it is. It is a power supply. And I think it's a little stand or something for the device, which is pretty cool. Oh, no, it's not. It's uh, Europe and America adapters. So that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.